what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Claire if this is your first time here sorry this is really big so in today's video I was super inspired by a photo that Jaclyn Hill posted on her Instagram about a week and a half ago I thought it was just such a lovely picture and she kind of gave some of the details of her makeup look it's this one right here and so yeah she just looks so dewy and so pretty and beautiful as usual and um just so gorgeous that I was like I really want to copy that only thing I don't have is the white robe so sorry about that you have to deal with my pink well it's by pink it's great but this is such a fun like challenge for me because I'm not used to these kind of videos um on my channel so yeah I did my, the best that I could and I hope you really like this look and either way this is a really pretty look um so it's kind of like a warm smoky eye and so yeah, I feel like Jaclyn Hill would approve of this look. So yeah, I'm about to go take some selfies of it now. If you want to see how I get this Jaclyn Hill inspired look, well not even Jaclyn Hill inspired, it's a copy look. Like I tried to recreate her look. If you want to see how I got it though, make sure to stick around and keep watching. So I'm super duper excited to be filming this look today. I love Jaclyn Hill. I think she's great and wonderful and she's such a talented person. And in this particular photo, the one I just showed, um, she does give some of her makeup details and I have some of these products. I have about half of them. Um, she has the Kylie Cosmetics Highlight in Fiji. Her lip is a Mannequin by Jeffree Star Cosmetics with Maybelline on top in Baddest Beige. Um, her lashes are Flutter Lashes Intoxicating, and the eyes is the Jaclyn Hill Palette and the Ring the Alarm Palette. And so that's the only makeup details she gives about this particular look that I'm going to do. So obviously I'm not going to do exactly all of that because I may not have all of that, but I do have a lot of those products. And so we're going to go ahead and start by priming the face. And Jaclyn normally does like a dewy look in almost every look you see of hers. Um, I don't really have a dewy foundation, so I'm going to do what I can to kind of create like a dewy look but one thing I have going for me is my skin is really oily today as you can probably tell. The primer that I have been personally loving is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. You can just kind of like see it blurring out your skin. Like I'm not joking you can really feel it before you even like put the foundation on. You can kind of see your pores just getting a little blurry. And so I like to kind of put that mainly around the center of my face and like the T-zone. So mainly like the center of the forehead and then here on the nose. Um, I was almost thinking about going ahead and doing my eyes first for this look today. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and do my face first. I know Jacqueline normally does her face first. And that's what I normally do anyway. Because I think when I do the eyes first, I can't really see, you know, what it's going to look like. Like I can't tell if it looks good or not until I have... The foundation on. So for the foundation today, I'm going to be using a foundation that I have been loving. It's not super duper matte. It's almost like a velvety matte. It's the Born This Way Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. And I think it is supposed to be like a matte foundation. Um, but I don't see it that way. I see it as more like a velvety velvety matte finish you know what I'm saying so you can kind of make it dewy and so because I want that like radiant look because she's just glowing in that photo um I'm gonna put on some Laura Mercier foundation primer in radiance and so this kind of gives you like I don't want to say shimmer look you can just kind of see like a little little dazzle in the primer I put way too much on but so yeah if you can kind of see how it just makes your skin kind of look glowy um I feel like if I had more of a tan it would show up a little bit better and look a little bit glowy so now we're going to go ahead and apply that Born This Way foundation. And so I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. And then I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge. I know Jacqueline normally uses a beauty sponge. But then also her Morphe M439 brush. And I've been trying to get into a habit of using a sponge lately. Just because I want to change some things up this year. You know it's 2019. Let's form some new habits. One of my goals is also to like get really better at makeup this year. Really better. Is that a phrase? I want to get really better. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do a full coverage of this all over the face. And you can really see that um, La Mercier primer through it kind of. It just kind of makes it look radiant like it's called radiance. So now I've just blended that foundation out all over my face. And I'm going to go ahead and set it with the Prep and Prime from MAC, the Fix Plus. Um, I do love the Morphing Setting Mist. But this one kind of makes you look a little bit softer, a little bit more dewy than the Morphe. Morphe kind of like locks it in. So I'm going to use that at the end. But now to just kind of give like a finish onto the foundation before I go into like concealer or anything else. I'm going to go ahead and spritz it with this. I haven't used that in a while. I forgot how good it smells. I have the coconut one. Mm, it smells so good. So let's go ahead and put on that concealer and really highlight the face. Um, to start out, I'm going to uh, go ahead and go in with the Born This Way Concealer in Snow um, by Too Faced. And it's really, really nice. I find that it works really well with the foundation. I'm just going to kind of use this everywhere. 
not everywhere, but I'm gonna kind of highlight with it and I'm gonna mix it with something else. Just gonna blend all this out. And also to kind of brighten it a little bit more, I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Soft Light over here. And I'm just gonna take that literally with that sponge. I need a new sponge so bad. I need to just go buy one. Um, and I'm gonna go over this concealer. Just, if you can tell, it just kind of like lightens it just slightly and I'm just gonna lighten it at the bottom like going almost on the cheekbones kind of and just bringing it kind of low so you can see like a slight slider lighter slider lighter look you, you don't see a big difference but I feel like this is gonna be really well like after I apply like the highlight and stuff it just kind of accentuates a little bit lower now I want to go ahead and set all this so that way it doesn't start to get like cracky or anything one more time I'm gonna spritz it with this fix fix plus just to kind of lock in that concealer. And now I'm going to set it with my favorite powder that I've ever found. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is, I think Jaclyn does use this. I'm not really, I can't really remember at the moment. But it honestly just locks everything in. And it doesn't leave any like, um, not backlash, what's it called? Um, flashback. And so it just makes everything look super, super smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and put that under our eyes and lock that in. Just makes everything kind of just stay forever. And it makes your skin literally feel like ski slopes. Like it feels so, so smooth on the skin. I'm really excited because I ordered the Casey Holmes and Physicians Formula um, little collab. And it has bronzer in it. The butter bronzer that I love that I broke a long time ago. So it kind of like shattered everywhere. And so that's supposed to come in the mail today. So I'm going to film using that. But I'm also just excited to have another bronzer. And it comes with so much stuff for $20. Like that butter bronzer alone. I was in CVS the other day. And it was like $17. And it was like for butter bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and dust this off slightly. And as I was saying, um, since I don't have a new bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer that I know and love. And it's the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Um, this is honestly just because it's one of my main bronzers right now. Like I only have like three only have three bronzers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and contour using this. I also really love this mirror I got from TJ Maxx. It's an Impressions Vanity mirror and it lights up but I, it's just really a nice nice mirror. Get around the forehead. I'm going to go ahead and contour the nose. Jacqueline always has like a snatched nose and I really need to watch her videos. Like I watch all of her videos but I need to pay more attention and actually like learn like I watch them one to learn but mainly because like she's so entertaining and just she gives really good tips but I need to really I need to like get out a notepad she always does such a good job at just setting the face I, th I feel like that's one of her like biggest strengths is like how she can set her face that's not like an insult that's a really good talent another thing I really love that she does is how she kind of she does this move right here to kind of make that bronzer not go too low but now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and I'm going to try my best to slay them how Jaclyn does. And by doing that, I'm going to use the Bomb A Brow Kit by Desi Perkins. 12 out of 10 recommend this. It comes with the six different products, I believe, for $59. And, um, yeah, it's been life-changing. So, I'm going to do this real quick. So, I did my brows, and I'm no Jaclyn Hill or anything, but I think they look pretty good. I used every single product in that brow kit. Um, so, yeah, and then I went ahead and set my not set I primed my eyes and I just used that same concealer and then that Laura Mercier setting powder just to kind of get a basis down but now we're about to do the fun part so on the picture Jaclyn says she uses the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and the Ring the Alarm palette from the vault um, also with Morphe and these colors like you can kind of tell which colors she probably does like I have a general idea um, but at the same time, like, I don't know, so it may not be exactly what she used, but I'm going to try my best to copy that picture and, like, make it look pretty good. I'm really sorry if we do an excessive amount of shades in this look today. Um, I just want to see, I'm going to be looking at the picture she uses and see if I can, like, get pretty close. Um, but first of all, for the transition shade, I'm looking at it and I feel, I feel like she uses one of these colors. But I think I'm going to go with this shade right here because it's the most, like, orangey toned neutral shade. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we're going to go with that. And we're going to use that in the crease um, just as a nice transition shade. I really don't use this shade a lot because I am I use more of, like, the neutrally. I like cool tones, honestly. Um, and this one's, like, super. Actually, I don't know if I'd call this. This is, like, a cool toned but orangey, orangey vibe. Did that make any sense? 
Sometimes I consider anything that's orange cool toned, even though that's super inaccurate, but I'm still learning, y'all. Small circular motions. I'm going to kind of fan it out near the brow bone, like a little bit above the crease, because she put some more layers in the actual crease. So I'm not going to put any more product on, but I'm going to kind of like feather out the edges. See what I'm doing? So the next shade I think I'm going to go into, I don't know the color of it, and you can tell I don't really use it a lot, um, is this shade right here. It's like a warm, a warm orangey red, and I'm going to put that in the crease, and whether or not that's what she actually has in her crease, we may never know unless she like does this look, but it's really like an orangey color, but it has like a burnt, burnt vibe to it, and so I'm just going to use that same brush just because... It's fine, um, and I'm just gonna go a little bit, a little bit lower than the first shade we used, and just kind of do little circular motions and move it around into that crease, just slightly below what we just did. We're gonna smoke things out a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna go into the shade Siren in this palette. Um, it's like a, looks like a matte shade, but it's kind of like velvety. I mean, all these colors are really smooth in here, and I'm just gonna take that with the Morphe M30 M330 brush. And we're going to go mainly on the outer corner, but then also work our way into the crease about half, halfway. Just because you can tell in that photo, she has like a really deep crease, but it's not like, she's not closing her eyes in the picture, so it's kind of hard to see really, really what the deal is going on. And one thing Jacqueline does a really good job of is like really smoking out the lower lash line also. And she's talked about that a lot, about how she doesn't see how like some people don't and... I like it on her. I love it on her, actually. I just genuinely think that we would be really good friends. Like, I feel like she may be a little bit more outgoing than I am, and probably more friendly. Um, not that I'm not friendly, but you know what I mean. Like, I feel like she's easier to talk to than I am. Like, I'm a little bit more quiet, and she's probably a little bit louder. But I feel like we would, we would get along great. We're going to go deeper one more time into the crease, or in really just the outer corner, not really the crease. And I'm going to go into the shade Secret, and it's like a warm, chocolatey brown color in the Ring the Alarm palette. Um, I'm trying to really incorporate both of these palettes because I feel like the main color on the lid is from the regular Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, and so this is just going to be kind of like, I'm just going to stamp it out. And this is just kind of what I call my dagger brush. It's, got, it's round, but it's also very firm. And I'm just going to kind of press that into this outer corner just to really smoke it out out here because when we get to the bottom lash line is I want it to kind of connect to this shade because I feel like this is one of the darker darker warmy shades you know what I'm saying so now I'm just going to take this brush that has nothing on it and I'm going to lightly just kind of go over the outer corner out here see how it just kind of makes like the biggest little difference you know just kind of making sure they're all Nicely blended, no drama. The main shade on the lid looks very orangey, but also kind of gold. And the only shade I can think of that, oh, I have a couple shades in mind actually. This shade right here to kind of blend, but I feel like that's too dark. And then I'm thinking this shade and maybe this shade kind of blended together up into like light in the, in the corner. But then, what other one? Boom, right here. I'm thinking boom. I'm gonna spritz this flat brush with, um, just like a little flat brush with some Fix Plus to really get it damp. And then we're gonna go into that shimmery shade Boom. It's like a pumpkin shade. If like a pumpkin was shimmery. And I'm gonna just put this kind of blending into the outer corner. Um, we're not gonna use a whole lot of this because I want to use some of the other shades from the Ring the, I mean, not the Ring the Alarm palette, the other palette. Um, and my look that I have right now is looking a little bit deeper than what she has. But this is a common look for her, like a deep red smoky eye. And one day soon, I'm going to film like a red smoky eye. Or even like, this is pretty much an orange smoky eye. But I want to do something a little bit more orangey. I just wiped that same little flat brush off. And now we're going to go into this shade. I think it's something, I can't remember. It's like what she calls for her wedding. Like the brides that say they want smoky but not smoky. You know, like natural smoky. Um, natural but smoky in BS. Is that what it's called? Um, but I'm going to kind of just put this kind of just blending into the other deeper shade. And I feel like this is like the main color she uses. Why is my hand shaking? I think it's because I had coffee so early this morning. I went to 21 days of prayer this morning. It's day 17, I think. 
and yeah so I've been up since 5 a.m. Um, okay so that's really really pretty that looks right so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that actually all the way down into the inner corner and then we're gonna kind of really highlight the inner corner but because the inner corner is so light and bright um very highlighted you can tell the rest of her water lines are lined with black and before I make something really light in the little in the middle in the center what um, I'm gonna go ahead and line my water lines with I'm gonna use the urban decay perversion <laughs> you can see I've used this so many times I've gone through probably seven or eight of these in my lifetime um, this is like the only black liner I really use and I'm probably gonna have to use two hands I'm not gonna lie just because I don't see how they just shove this in their eyeball like I don't see how they're just like eh. So I like to kind of lift up my lashes and just go under. I mean, a lot of people don't like touching their eyeball, but I wear contacts, so I'm like really used to it. I'm going to go ahead and do just a thin line of this Kitten Liner by Tarte on my top lash line. Um, just the top, just because like when I put on the fake lashes, if I don't do some kind of black, they don't have nothing to like, it looks like they're just sitting there, you know, and you can see oh no so now we're finally gonna go ahead and really highlight that inner corner and I'm probably gonna add some more in a minute but I'm just I mean I imagine she used one of these two shades and I would really like to buy another Jaclyn Hill palette just because I have used these as like normal face highlights for so long but I'm just gonna go into the second one um, just because that's the one I have more of <laughs> now they're a little bit different um, but like I just alternate which ones I use I'm just gonna really blind with that inner corner and if you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to class. So I'm about to bust up in there with a blinding highlight once I put that on and a smoky eye. And I think we need to go ahead and put on some mascara and go ahead and put on the fake lashes before we um, finish the lower lash line and then the blush and highlight and the lip. The lip's really important with this look today. And the lashes she says she used are the Intoxicating Lashes by Flutter lashes and they're really really pretty I however do not have those I think the ones I'm going to use today are the house of lashes um they're the iconic no they're the premium collection and these are in the not shade <laughs> in the design in the shape Juliet they're kind of thick um I don't know how these are going to work for me like for the long haul because they're very very stiff like they're not as free as the Lily Lashes so I'm gonna put these on and see how they work and if they don't work I'm gonna just put on the Miami Lashes by Lily Lashes. Okay so I just put on those Flutter Lashes. They seem to be working out. They kind of just popped right on. Um, I feel the glue still kind of drying but we're gonna go ahead and finish up the look today. For blush today I don't really have anything that she's probably wearing um, in that same like it's like a rosy tone almost um, so I'm gonna use something really old this was my mom's this is in hmm it's called soft mink and it's by covergirl you can see this packaging is so early 2000s so this is probably really old and probably needs to be thrown away but for the sake of this video I am gonna use it and I use it quite a bit honestly because it's like a really pretty color um, so I'm just gonna put on some of this blush it's really shimmery Seems like something Jacqueline would approve of. Always really liked CoverGirl. Her highlight, she says that she uses Fiji by Kylie Cosmetics. I don't have Fiji, but I do have Santorini. And honest, honestly, like this is one of my favorite highlights in the world. It is blinding. It's a loose highlight and you only need like a pinch. I dropped it like a year ago. It spilled all over my bedroom floor and so I thought it was gone. But somehow I have managed to have a lot left so what I'm gonna do is because her highlight always looks so just wet I'm gonna spritz this morphe um, highlight brush this m510 brush and then I'm gonna go into the highlight and we're just gonna lightly tap it in there look at that like this is honestly I'm trying to think of a highlight that I like better than this I do like the Laura Mercier um, the highlight 01 is what I call it because I don't know if it has a name it's just like a powdered highlight but this is just like blinding. It's good on top of a lot of foundations. Like sometimes I have the Kylie Cos, oh, not sometimes I have it, but I have the Kylie Cosmetics um, highlighter in French Vanilla, and it's like a pressed highlighter. But sometimes on some of my foundations, you can kind of like see it. It's kind of like chalky looking. Um, but this one has never given me any trouble at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with this. 
Now I want to go ahead and finish the eyes once and for all, not worry about the lips yet. So we're going to do the eyes and then the lips. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to go into the shade Siren. That's what I'm going to do first. And I'm just going to use this brush and we're going to kind of just press it against that lower lash line. Just really get in there. Um, next I'm going to go into the shade Secret, but I'm only going to use this one on the outer, outer edges over here. Um, so to kind of just blend into that other secret shade on the top, so kind of just create like a round, roundish look. I'm going to go back into our transition shade, our original orangey peachy shade right here, and I'm just going to take that with a little pencil brush, and I'm going to kind of buff it around the edges just lightly, just very, very closely to the edges. That's being weird to my camera, so I'm sorry if it's not like perfectly clear. It kind of just like died, but it's not dead because I just charged it, so I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and finish with the lips while we can. I went out and bought the Baddest Beige Lipstick. I swatched it this morning, but I haven't actually used it. I'm a little nervous of how it's going to look on my skin, even though Jaclyn, I'm a little bit more pinky, I feel like, than she is. Um, but then I don't have the Jeffree Star shade in Mannequin. Um, but for the lip liner, I also bought the Maybelline lip liner um, in the shade Beige Babe. I thought this was pretty true to the um, Baddest Beige shade, but a little bit darker, which is what I like. And so I'm going to line my lips with this. I know that's pretty. But I would have never picked this color out, honestly. I didn't expect it to be so, like, satiny. Her lips just look really glossy. Um... But she didn't say she was wearing a gloss, so we're not going to do a gloss. Last but not least, I'm going to set my face with a Morphe setting mist. I think this is empty. Yeah, you can feel that it's like, I need to buy some more. Okay, guys, I think that was it for this look. I feel like I did a pretty good job. You know, I feel like it may not be exactly like hers, but hang on. You got this one? Which way is she turning? And then you got that one. <laughs> I mean, we it looks pretty similar than, to what she did, I think. So, yeah, that was really fun for me. It was almost like a challenge, and I don't do challenges because I think they're kind of... Oh, wait, one more thing. Ah, I'm going to highlight my brow bone, and I'm just going to use that Kylie Cosmetics highlight. How could I forget the brow bone? That would have been really bad. Jaclyn Hill would not approve. Okay, whoo! crisis averted with that. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did like this, give me some more ideas of people to copy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button down below because I'd love you to join my fam. I post three times a week. So yeah, it's a party. Yeah, I will see y'all in my next video and you have a great day wherever you are and bless up. Mwah.